Hello, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make a seven segment display to um, connect up to our binary decoder here. And uh, as you can see, I've already built a bit of it. It's just the seven segments. It's a bit boring to build. Watch me do it. But um, that's, that's pretty much it. Just seven segments with sticky pistons. And um, I've color coded the segments here. So the right side, you know, blue, left, red. Top and bottom green, middle pink, just to make it a bit easier later when um, we join them up with certain colours behind. I've also swapped signs and torches around because we're going to be inverting this signal, so that's going to be coming off it like uh, like this. And um, also, if you follow it along, I built this three spaces away, so there's three gaps look between where this line would intersect. And um, where this begins, and uh, the bottom three pistons are out of way. Another three again. So basically, if you count, um, if you count um, sort of like three along, yeah, three along, and then from the end, count three up like that. You just watch this bit here, in case you're watching. Then, if you're following along, I mean, that's that. Right, as you see, I built a mock-up over here. It only has two um, two settings on it right now: zero, and it has one. So I think that one's on the wrong side. It's just me being a dick, but there we go. And as you can see, it's sort of controlled by this middle bit here, because obviously we have um, a number. One number needs to control seven segments, so we have to sort of divide that up into what we need. I don't know if you call this an encoder or a decoder or what, I'm not sure, but either way we need it. So I'm going to show you how to build it. Right, so let's start off controlling these um, segments behind here. So start with the blue. Now uh, to control the side segments, this is what we need. We need... Um, Exactly like this on, on each four, each of the four side segments. Could be like this. Sorted. Now uh, top, bottom, middle. We'll do this. There are other ways to um, sort of control these segments. Okay, link them up. But this is um, just the most compact way I've found since. Um, the redstone changed since it went from being a you know a cross to a dot and a line instead of a cross when you attach a repeater to it if it was still a cross it'd be all right or if it was a dot but now it just powers what's in front instead of everything to the side of it as well so have to mark that out right let's add the my redstone along the middle parts you want it on the back here all the middle parts and center bits go right here Sorted. And the uh, repeaters for the middle, middle segments, and for the sides we need a repeater on these edge bits here, going into their top block. So like that. And there we go. All right now we're going to extend all these side parts out. I think I've done this wrong here. I'm on this thread. Hang on. Oh, that's a bit, a bit stupid of me, but considering I colour coded the front. Right, anyway, now let's extend these um, side bits out up to our 7 mark. Ignore that I've added a bit here just for like a future video. So extend from the middle part all the way out to a 7. There we go. I'll do this quickly and be right back. Should I do the middle bit? Okay, now that you've done the sides, let's do it in the middle part. Let's get rid of this. Right, now for the middle, we're going to have to raise it by one. Pull it along like this for the bottom piece. And um, it will make sense in a minute when I get onto um, the uh, sort of bit in the middle of the encoder or whatever we want to call it. Now um, for the pink, we'll put this on the right side as well. 
Oh yeah, this definitely has to be on the right side, otherwise it's gonna block our inputs. So I put this on the right. Do the same for um, the middle segment. Do that here. And we'll put the top green on the left, just to um, just so we don't have five on the right. And I raise this up one. There we go. So you end up with this, pretty much. Now um, add redstone across all of them. So start from here like that, and from here all along like that. Okay. Now I've got redstone across the top of everything. We're gonna start adding the middle bits. So line it up the middle here, and the middle. There we go. That's how we're gonna be doing this. Like that. We want this here. So um, imagine redstone torch there. We turn it on like that. That's how you want it. Just thought I'd point out in case you're building this on a weird level or something like that. And then uh, build this up to the top here. Make sure it's um, on above. Whack a torch on top. In between. Bam, there we go. And that's what you should be left with. Also, just to join this up here. There we go. Because zero is our default, it will invert everything, so don't worry about that. Now, um, I want you to do the same thing for every one of them, going up to seven. And um, once I've done this, I'll uh, be right back. Okay, so when you're done, you'll have something that looks like this, or well, pretty much this. And uh, a bit of redstone there. Now everything's connected up, ready to go. So first things first, we want we want zero to be shown on here because zero is our default number. I mean, it's on right now, and um, got nothing to show for it. So let me show you how all this connects together, mainly through these here. These don't sort of work together; they are, they work alone. They're not like all of these. You know, all of these sort of work together in a way, in a sense. You know, you need one to control the other to control the other and keep everything going. You know, you can't just sort of half program it and expect it all to work. Whereas this, you can program one, it'll work. You know, it, it won't show two, or it won't show two or three if you just program zero and one. But if you hit the other ones, you'll just get nothing. You know, you won't get some jumbled mess. You won't get five or six turn on by accident or something like that. Right, so what do we need to show zero on here? We need all the segments except the middle one, except the pink line. Now to turn on the side segments, it's built in a way, so you just need a torch. So bam. So when this line's inverted because it's on, you know, all the side lines turn on. Whereas this one, this isn't on, so nothing's inverted, so this block is powered. So you know, a torch does nothing. Alright, so let's go around, do the red as well. Same as the blue, just whack a torch on it. Alright, but now with the green, the green, the top and the bottom can't use a torch because obviously the blocks are powered next to them so what we're going to do is place a block down and put a repeater on it now we have to use a repeater because if we use just redstone and say um, say down here somewhere we had another number and it used um, it used pink and we used um, you know we whack this down here bam, and we put redstone on it Right, so when another number uses pink, it will light this whole line up and it will come along and it will turn this on. Alright, it will invert it. We don't want it inverted, you know, we want it to turn it on from down there, not here. So anything up here will get switched on, so we'd switch these two lines over here. Say we don't want them, you know, we end up with, um, you know, just a dodgy output. So make sure we use a repeater, otherwise you can accidentally you'll be turning other lines on. And that's that, and oh no, we've got um, the bottom segment. So we come down here, repeat our job done. And now we will have zero. And that's it, really. Do this for each one. So for one, you know, we just want these two right bits on. 
So we'll go along to one. This is one. We'll whack a torch there, torch there. And that's just these two segments. Like put them on anything else. So now when we flip the switch to one, we're left with just one. Back to default. There we go. And it's that simple, really. Uh, really, you know, it's nice and easy. Show you how to do two quickly. It's a good way of thinking about it for two. You know, I want this segment. Well, actually, it's easy to think what you don't need. I don't need this one. No, I don't need this one. So I'll turn everything on over here except the top, top red. So I'll put um, the bottom red on. That's the number two line. And now I need a uh, pink for this. Pink there. Do the green. I'm at this weird level. No, I can't really. Right, so I'll go over. Do pink. Do green. Bam. So that's everything apart from that one there. Now on this side I want to do everything except this. So it's pretty much just these two. So I'll come along, find uh, number two, which is here. Bam. Drop down there, drop down here. Sorted. Without even testing right away, we'll just go to two. Bam, we've got two. That's, that's how easy it is. I mean, you know, if you get something wrong, if you put three down and you end up, you know, you end up with this segment still on, you know, you've got this segment missing. Then, um, you know, you just come back and you knock a torch off. And, um, you know, that segment turns off. A bit of trial and error and you get it right away. But, you know, as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. You know, nothing crazy happens. Actually, let's do three quickly. So I'll show you a bit. Of, so I can turn both of these on and show you how it goes. So with three, we want everything except the two red on. Just go over here and sort out the pink and green. So let's find let's find three zero one two three. So put that there. There's that. Green done. Green. All right. Now we want everything on this side for three. So it's uh, zero one two three. It's found nice and easy. And just the torches and that's that that's that for free I believe that's everything we need right so let's do one get one all right now we've got two I've got two let's add the one make three bam how good is that that there we go three and now I'm sure you can work the rest, the, the rest out. If not, just uh, rewind a little. The, it explains itself when you start doing it. I mean, it's pretty much just a bit of trial and error if you still don't understand. I mean, you, I'm sure you will in a moment. So you start playing with it. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do in a future video. I've got some ideas about combining this and what's on the back there. I've done it before, but with the redstone, a bit different now. Um, you know, I can't really do much. So it's been different for a while, but I haven't really been messing around with it for a while. But that's that's the difference there. Before that used to still be an X, whereas now it's a line. So as before, if I powered this up, you know, it could power all these blocks. So it turned all these torches off, whereas now it just does that. Whereas before it had this effect. I can get it done. There we go. See it turn them all off. Whereas now, you know, it just doesn't work like that. It turns into a straight line instead of staying as a dot or an X. And, um, so yeah, but if I um, if I think around that, I'll have something special for you on the next one. Or I'll just find a new way of doing it either way. But, um, yeah, give it a like and a favorite. A sub if you like, you know, keep up to date with new videos and such. And, um, yeah, see you next time.